What is going on you guys? In this video today, we're gonna to talk about how to install WordPress on pretty much any host out there. Now, I'm gonna go over the easy way first, and then if you can't do this easy way, which I'm sure you can, it's like on 99% of all web hosting companies out there. If you can't do uh, way number one, I'm gonna show you a more advanced, kind of technical way to do it and install it. But again, most of you are gonna fall just under the very first option is gonna be a piece of cake. So let's, uh, let's switch over to my screen here and I'll walk you through how to do it step by step. Okay, so if I come here to my demo website right up here, it's brycedemo.shdev.vip, you'll notice that I get a 403 forbidden error. That's just because I don't have WordPress installed yet. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go into our cPanel. If you don't know how to get there, you can go to your website URL and type in forward slash cPanel. You'll have to log in, I've already logged in. Oh, I guess it'll make me re-log in. And then perfect, this is the screen that we want to see. So there's a lot of different options here. Again, don't get overwhelmed if you're not familiar with cPanel. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down until we find this heading here that says Softaculous App Installer. Now this is just a library of all the different apps that you can install with two or three clicks. You've got WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, I mean, a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. 99% of the time, I don't do anything but WordPress just because that's kind of the easiest one to do. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on WordPress and then we're gonna come in here and say install now. And then here under site settings, we can change this to whatever the name of your website is gonna be. I'm just gonna say Bryce Demo. Uh, that's fine. Under admin username, these are the credentials that you're gonna use to actually log into your WordPress website. So I don't, you know, I'm not gonna remember this, uh, this username. So I'm gonna just change it to admin. And this right here for the password, you can type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna highlight this and copy it and we'll hang on to it and use it to log in later. Um, admin email, this is, you know, a bogus email just for the purpose of this video. Go ahead and put something real in there. And we'll scroll down and we'll click install. It's gonna run through the different steps and within 10 seconds, it's gonna go whoop and then we should be done. There we go, pretty easy. Okay, so now the nice thing though is this takes care of all of the complicated steps for us. It copies all of the files, sets up the database, the database user, you know, you name it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes but it's super fast and they take care of it like that. So now if we click on this link, bam, I've got a WordPress website whereas before, uh, I was getting a 403 error, and so obviously this is working. So now I'm going to undo everything that we did and just you know, presume and, and assume that you don't have uh, anything set up yet, and we're gonna start scratch, and I'm gonna show you how to set up WordPress manually, set up the user, the database, all that kind of stuff. I promise you it's not that difficult. Okay, so we are back on this screen now. Um, this is just, I reset my whole account just so we're 100% we're back to the way that we were before. Um, if you're curious on how to do that, check out this video where I talk about how to reset your WordPress website. Um, but we have a completely blank, clean slate right now. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to assume that you don't have Softaculous. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to download the WordPress files manually, which is actually pretty easy to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google, and we're going to uh, type download WordPress. And we'll just go to download and download WordPress 5.5.1. So we'll do this. And you'll notice we have this uh, WordPress zip file down here now. And so we will go back to our cPanel, we'll go back to the file manager and we'll go to the public HTML folder. I'm going to upload this file Go to downloads and find WordPress. And it's only 13 megabytes, so it should upload pretty pretty quick. Okay, so then we'll click go back. And then we're gonna come here and we're going to right click on this zip folder and we're gonna say extract. And that's fine, we want this to be in the public HTML folder, so we'll say extract files. And it should go pretty quick. Like I said, it's, uh, it, you know, it's not, not very much data. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is we want to delete this zip file. So we'll just highlight it and click delete. I always skip the trash. You can keep it in there if you want. I'll say confirm. And now we've got this WordPress directory. Now the problem though is that we want all of these files, we wanna move them up one directory because we don't want it to be public underscore HTML slash WordPress and then all of the files in that directory. We want all of the files to be immediately underneath the public HTML folder. So this is pretty easy. We'll select all, we'll click move. And then here, we're just going to delete where it says WordPress and that trailing slash, and we'll say move files. 
Now, if we go back up one level, we'll notice we have everything here that we need. So we're going to also delete this WordPress directory because now if we go in here, it's completely empty. There's nothing in there, so we don't need it anymore. So we're gonna say delete and we're going to say confirm. Okay, so the files are there now, but we need to set up the database and also the database user. So in order to do that, we're gonna go back to our cPanel and we're gonna scroll down to where it says MySQL databases. We'll click on that. And we're just gonna create a brand new database. I'm gonna call it Bryce Demo underscore WordPress. And we'll create the database. And the database has been created. Now the database has been created, but it's completely empty. When we go through the WordPress install, it'll actually set up everything for us. So we'll go back. Now that we've got the database, we need to create a user that has access to that database. Again, when we do the Softaculous install, this is actually what it's doing behind the scenes, but it just does it so much quicker because it's all automated and it's run by a script. You're doing it step-by-step -step manually here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to add a new user, and I'm gonna say Bryce Demo underscore admin, and I'm gonna use this password generator here. Um, and let's just, most of the time I actually do use the, the password that it suggests, but I'm just gonna say um, password 2020 exclamation and say I've copied this. And that way it's just easy so I can remember. Um, I highly recommend you use a complex password here, but of course, just for the purpose of this demo, it just makes it easy. So I'm gonna say use password and it actually gives us a hundred out of a hundred score. So maybe that's not half bad. We'll say create user. Great, the user's created, we'll go back. Okay, so we have created the database, we have created the user, but we now need to give that user permissions to edit the database. And how we do that is we have to do this add user to database section, and so we click add. And then here we check this box that says all privileges. It's gonna check all the boxes, give it access to pretty much the entire keys to the kingdom, give it everything it needs, and we'll say make changes. Okay, so we're done. If I click go back, we should have everything that we need. So I'm now going to come back up here to my website and I'm going to refresh. And if we've done everything properly, it's gonna give us this screen that shows a brand new WordPress install. So we're gonna say continue. And it says, I'm gonna need the database name, the database username, the password and the host, which we should have all that information already. So let's say, let's go. The database name is what we set up earlier, which is this guy right here, which is Bryce demo underscore WordPress. So we're gonna change this and go price demo underscore WordPress. The username, in case you forgot, is this guy right here, which is price demo underscore admin. Price demo underscore admin. And the password is that password 2020 exclamation like we set earlier. Um, database host and database prefix, you don't have to worry about those too much. If you're setting it up brand spanking new, 90% of the time, localhost and WP underscore is what you're gonna want in these fields. We'll go ahead and say submit. And it says, all right, Sparky, everything's good. We'll say run the installation. And then here, this is where we get to set up the site title. So I'm gonna say Bryce Demo, and I'm gonna say here for my username, admin. This is the username and the password to log into the WordPress installation, not to be confused with the username and password that we set up for the database just a second ago. So here, I'm gonna say test one, two, three, four, five, exclamation, sure, we'll just do whatever we need. Confirm use, and then we'll put in, you know, your, uh, your email address, and then we'll say install. Okay, so it says everything is successful. If we log in here, I can say admin, test, one, two, three, four, five, six, exclamation, log in, bada bing, bada boom, done. If I come here, I can say visit the site and we now have a WordPress website identical to what it would look like had we used Softaculous. Now, again, this is the more advanced method. Again, it's not that, difficult, but it is a little bit more involved. But if for some reason your web host doesn't have the Softaculous option, this is the method that you're going to have to use. Now, if you're looking for a good web hosting company that does have Softaculous, I'll leave a link in the description to the company that I use. I think they're pretty great. I've had a really good experience with them. Um, and if you're looking for something, I, I highly recommend them. So that is it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If this helped you out, leave a comment down below. Uh, if it didn't help you out, also leave a comment down below. Let me know how I can improve. Until next week, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.